You did a great job. It's so nice to meet you. I, am, I stick up my little hand. I'm so happy to meet you. I'm Talana. What's your name? Well, uh, nice to meet the, nice to meet the three of you. Talana, Dakawa, Roberto, Calum, Clara. Thank you for your help. Well, uh, you, you've all done a great thing for this city today, and I thank you for that. I only wish that I could have done more. There's only so much that I can do myself. You helped out those villages. I mean, that's... You're incredible. You should join us on our trip. We are going to help kill a necromancer, and you would great addition, because you have magic, and you're really kind. Suddenly, Dakota remembers, wait, that's the uh, one... We, we have to stop that one. That one in particular. I, uh... Did anybody see where he went? I, uh, unfortunately have... I have business. I have very... Oh, well, do you have a man. business I, uh, card? Not that that... Not, <laughs> I used to. No, I, I think I think they're gone. Oh, then how do we get a hold of you if we need you again? Well, he has a white cloak, so he's probably a paladin, right? Oh. Uh, you could you could say that I'm a paladin of sorts. I I'm a less conventional paladin. That's okay. I'm a less conventional warder, so it's okay. And Roberto's a less conventional necromancer. Uh, uh, let's just say that your reputation precedes the three of you. I'm aware of your abilities, Roberto, and and I'm, I'm impressed, to say the least. I'm impressed with all three of you. But I have that's... a reputation! <laughs> Wait, your name's Calum Ke Clara. That's right, Calum Clara. As in, uh, he, Roberto starts digging in uh, his, his one of his, his satchel and pulls out a, a, a book, as in this Calum Clara? And he holds up a book uh, I think it says Undead Primer. Mm -hmm. Let me take a look at that. <clears throat> um, you start flipping through it. It is your, it's your handwriting. Doesn't look familiar, but that's my handwriting. Hmm. Yes, I wrote this. Well, it would make sense that you would want to write a primer for, well, us who are battling. Yeah. I mean, you know, like we just it, defeated a knock, and you it, know that's and, something. And about construct. <laughs> In a bone construct. Uh, yeah, speaking of that, thanks for the sword. Uh, need to return that to you, sir. Um, no, that's yours. You, you keep that. Hold you're, on to that. You're giving? T uh, okay. It was meant for you. Okay. You're all right with me. You are so nice. You give presents. And <laughs> I like you. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. What's my reputation? I didn't even know I had one. I mean, the three of you are, you're, you're important. You're a guiding light. In a difficult time, you provide a, a beacon. Yeah, that, that sword, keep that. I actually... Uh, oh, okay. Belong to an important person. But it, you could be an important person, too, and it belongs to you now. So, it's yours. The necromancer that attacked mm -hmm. this village is the one that did this to me, right? Hmm. Did that. Yeah, I saw that earlier. The thing in I've, me. Y yeah. That, you can that. look through that primer. Uh-huh. There might be some notes on that, but I've never seen anything quite like that. That's really interesting. I'd like to study it. I don't have time, sadly. Yeah. I've got, like I said, I have places to be. How do we call you if we need you? When you need me, I will find you. Let's put it that well, way. Well, I always need a friend. So can we just always be friends? The three of us, the four of us, excuse me. Sometimes I, oh, the five of us. Welcome back, Saffron. Yeah, we're, we're, we're friends. Uh... It's it's hard to think about oh, that God. during difficult times like these, but the people around you, the people close to you, yeah, they're your your partners, the people that have your back, those are your friends. And of course, I do consider us friends. Remember, friendship in difficult times is the best thing because it makes you happy and it fills your life with joy and it helps you to get through the tough times and it doesn't make <sighs> you think about the bad things because the sure. done dead things need to be dead again. So we're going to make them dead again and we can do it because yeah, we're yeah. awesome. And yep. you're awesome, and we're all Tla friends, so Tla us friends can do all of it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. And how did, how did he, how did you get that light going again? Yeah, because we tried. To be clear, I didn't do anything. The orb comes right up to Roberto's face, and on the inside you can see this face of flickering flames that sticks a tongue out at you. 
and says, My imagination is stronger than yours, and our rub. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Yeah, he's... You still didn't answer my question. Can, can I'd ask you to write it down, but you'd probably just burn my book up. <laughs> in, a, in a word, he's he's really something. Let's put it that way. Right, Saffron? <laughs> oh, oh, so it sounds like you have the same kind of relationship that we have with Delana. She's really something, too. Absolutely. Yeah, the two of you, I'm something special. You've, you've got a lot in common. She is... <laughs> I think that I think that Caelan looks around. Has the light has that lightning bolt been there the whole time, or did that kind kind of crackle away? It, you know what? It would still be there. I think it's still oh, there. Yeah. It's still flashing. It's going into the water. Yeah. I think it's there, and it's starting to kind of crackle more with more radiating dissonance. It's crackling like a little bit lighter, and he looks off mm-hmm. to it, and he tells all of you, "I." I can't stay much longer, but I have, if there's any other questions or information I can share, I'm happy to do so. I may have some other things to share with you as well. Okay. Do we want to go into the tavern? Do you have time for a drink at the hidey hole? (laughs) I don't think I've got time, but I've got, I've got some things for you. Tokoa, that, that sword Mm -hmm. that I said was yours. Yes, sir. That's Breaker and it belonged to St. Valtry. Okay. And it's yours now. Treasure it. Yes, sir. Roberto, I've got something for you. It's a it's a book. Look through it when you get a chance. The information in this book is paramount to everything. Take it and learn it and remember it. And he hands you a book. Can you describe the book, Mark? Mm-hmm. It is leather bound. It is maybe the size of a large notebook. It looks old. It looks like it's been passed down through multiple people. Mm -hmm. And on the cover, it has this sort of like a a circle with a lightning bolt through it. And it says the other place. Tread lightly. Hop right to that and not, uh, you know, keep a light step. Always a light step. Thank you, Kaelin. That's... This is awesome. This is... Take the time, study, learn it. And... Does yeah. this lightning bolt look like the lightning bolt that's hanging out? I mean, it's a lightning bolt. But if I hold up this <laughs> lightning bolt... No, it doesn't bolt, match it. it. <laughs> Just double check it. <laughs> Caleb, I, I have a question. Before We ran into a uh, ghost in a jar. Hmm. His name is Hans. Hmm. He, Hans, this ghost said that Roberto looks around that Balthazar put him into this jar hmm. as a not paladin, but paladin of sorts that is willing to talk to a necromancer of sorts like me. I figure that's a safe question to ask you. Paladins and necromancers have been battling each other for an age now. And you are the type of necromancer that that doesn't follow either of their rules. You're something different. You're something more like myself. You're something more like the bearer of that sword that Tokoa holds. You don't see things in black and white. You understand that life and death are more of a more of a conversation than a, than a beginning and an end. And Balthazar does not see things that way. All I can tell you is to do what you think is right. Make choices that you want to make. And I know that you'll figure this out and you'll do the right thing, Roberto. That that head, that, that person in a jar, all mm-hmm. I'll tell you to do is listen to them and do what you think is right. Let's bury them. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yes, yes, sir. Thank you. Um, bury who? Wait... <laughs> Bury that, bury, bury the head in the jar. <laughs> Don't bury that head, uh, Delana. I do have <laughs> oh. something for you. <laughs> oh, a hug! So nice. She's gonna mm. hug you. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. I've hugged your ankle or your knee. I've I've been alone. <laughs> I, this is the first contact I've had, and it's hard to remember my memories. Um, when the hug is ended. And he's like dusted himself mm-hmm. off. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you 
wound or something. Talana, take take this. It's a enchanted medallion. There's no other thing I can call it. And Aww. hands you a it's a medallion. Uh, can you describe it, Mark? Yep. It is a medallion on a black leather cord. It's a little bigger than like a large coin, so maybe like two two and a half inches across. The center is a black shiny obsidian, and then around the edges of it is like a, a bone white stone or something like that. Okay, and it's on a it's on a cord yeah. like a necklace, mm-hmm. and it's a magical thing. Like so, I can call you and talk to you. Mm, not quite. Is uh, it oh. looks like it's vaguely glowing right now. Um, just uh, monitor the glowing. Monitor the glowing. <laughs> So when I'm with, when I have great friends, it'll grow. I think I'll have lots of friends. Mm. Uh, I think probably the opposite. Oh, the less friends I have, that's so sad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just t- take but take some notes. I uh, on this grand adventure to meet people and to help people. I, I think he's trying to say that it, it kind of reacts to maybe the undead, perhaps like lights yeah. glowing, some, something right like that. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. You're a great friend. I don't have a gift. Wait, I might. I'm going to reach into my bag and I'm going to pull out my harmonica and say, this is for you. I haven't used it yet because I don't know how to use it. <laughs> but it once was used by a wonderful, great friend of mine, Roberto, and he can use it really well. And I think you should have it. And I think it'll be great because you're probably lonely on your travels by yourself. And this is a great way to learn how to do something new. Sorry, Saffron. Uh, thanks. I, I can... So you get this is Roberto's, so... No, it's mine. It's mine. I I had it. Okay. And Roberto <laughs> said, I should show you how to use it. So he tried it, and he showed me, and it works. But I don't know how to use it. So you can have it. <laughs> because I think you can use it. Because you are so magical, just like Roberto, but even more so. I and so will... I think that you could use it, because magical people Chico can use it. walks over and just kind of... Pat's Roberto on the back. Like, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. I, I think it's more of a gift for you, Tacoa. Uh, <laughs> now you don't have to have. Uh, oh, believe me, I, new I, lessons. One hundred percent behind this endeavor. <laughs> I can sleep. I have spares. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll treasure it. And I think he holds the harmonica up and just wiggles a few fingers in front of it, and it plays like a. Like a C G E. Oh, because you can use the wind to. Oh, sweet! The- I like that. Aww. <laughs> well done. So good. See. Perfect. That was so perfect. You're <laughs> awesome, Caleb. Uh, oh, thanks. Uh, you're you're all very nice. Anyway, um, I uh, I really have to go. Oh, before I go, I have to communicate one more thing to the three of you and this is more than paramount that you understand what I say deliver these objects that I've given you tonight deliver them to the quartermaster at the sign of the white wasp where the river flows under the hill between silver and steel my enemies are always watching I must leave you now and as he says this he floats backwards towards Bye, my new the friend. Uh, crack of lightning that begins to become less and less easy to decipher in the night sky. Roberto, did you write that down? Talana <laughs> reaches up and waves as Caleb <laughs> floats towards this lightning while Roberto and Tekoa scratch their heads at this riddle that was just told to them. That says... Deliver the items Mm -hmm. to the quartermaster at the sign of the white wasp, where the rivers flow under the hill. Where the rivers flow under Mm -hmm. the hill? Between silver and steel. Mm -hmm. I like that Caleb told them this and then just left instead of answering any questions about it. (laughs) So does Caleb leave? Yeah, Caleb backs into the faint crackle of that bolt. And as he reaches that, and you see the orange orb play a little catch up to that spot, the crackle becomes a very consistent bolt of lightning and gone. All right, so white wasp, let's go find a white wasp. Uh, 
can, can we can we get rested up and get something to drink uh, and eat first? Yeah, we should do that. I mean, we're here you for didn't tonight. even sign my book. I was going to get have well, him sign my actually, book. Actually, do you want to look at the... this point and look in your book and see if he signed it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. I waste a story point for such a thing. Deliver the items to the quartermaster at the sign of the White Wasp. Yeah, I don't Where the rivers understand. flow under the hill below silver and steel. Yeah, but he said it. it was very important that we understand that. And then he left. <sighs> you magic. Do you want types. to flip that light side point? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Since we have that, two of them. So Roberto has gone through this book a couple times, mostly gone directly to undead creatures, like flip to the center. And when Roberto the monster manual. opens up the front cover of it and there's a message written in ink that looks like it was written at the same time as the rest of this book. A comprehensive compendium of the dead, a guide to dealing with and laying to rest the recently returned and endlessly wandering souls. This book, a compendium of the dead is for everyone. This journal is meant to help guide you it compiles years of research from my many travels through Fenrain and beyond. If you find it in your hands, add your knowledge for the use of future adventurers and scholars. May the sun shine brightly on your travels. Calum Clara, Scholar and Saint. The town quiets after short celebration of the defeat of the dead. They know the necromancer is still out there, but the imminent threat is gone, especially at the end of the battle where it seemed that the dead things seemed to get minds of their own. The word around town is that the necromancer is gone. Roberto, Tico, and Tulana head to that inn at the center the of town. The hidey hole inn. The hidey hole, where they left their animals, I assume mm -hmm. tied up near, near the sun lamp. Yeah. Um, Heading in, they find a friendly air of quiet celebration. It's late at night, but the people who are in this place now are all fairly happy. And that young Thares, who initially told you to hide, is happily serving drinks behind the bar. His Thare Shrike going up and finding ingredients up on the shelves and bringing them down and putting them That's in so cool. cocktails. Thank you three for joining in the fight he says as he starts making a drink for somebody down the bar happy to be of service is this the bird theirs or is this the humanoid theirs it's the hum uh, humanoid yeah or he's got uh, grayish green skin and small horns on his head it's you know it's what we do it's why we came yeah pretty much I tell you what uh, first round's on me that's oh. what I'm talking about. Thank you. Thank you very much. What are you having? I would like some unsweet tea with some strawberries in it. Okay, thank you. He turns to his Thare Shrike. Do, do we have that? <laughs> I think we got something. Well, what, 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 I'm good for whatever. Uh, whatever, you know, what, what do you guys like to drink? You know, well, I'll have one of those. All right. Well, here's a, he drops down under the bar for a second, pours something, puts it on the uh, countertop. It's a pint glass and it smells a little bit sweet, a little bit hoppy. Mm. Thanks. It's it's all right. One of the local guys brews it. Well, you know, it's always good to try the local stuff. You know, it's important. Get a taste of you guys. I'll take, uh, you got any clarity? Uh, I, I no, I don't. Sorry. Kind of hard to get this far east of the spine. Oh, it's fine. I just thought I would ask. Uh, yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take what you got for the local on the tap. I think that'll be got fine. It. I appreciate it. He pours another one, slides it to you. It'll be just a minute on the on the tea. Oh, that's okay. I'll, I'll bring it wait. out to you when it's ready. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yep. You you want some of this? It's it it's it's a little sweet. N no, I'm I'm good. So I'm gonna look around. <laughs> Are there a lot of people? Yeah, uh, maybe 15 people all scattered about. This place has a large front room with tables and booths and a looks like there's like a balcony kind of thing above with a few more tables up there and a hallway that goes back up there 
probably two rooms. Oh. It's one of the bigger places in this town. This is a really nice place. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's a really nice place. She's taking notes on how it's, she can improve oh it. Oh, <laughs> goodness. Hey, let's go sit down at the table. Um, maybe maybe I can help I out with doing down. some, like, woodwork for them. No, we're not going to stay. Oh, well, I mean, it would be helpful. I it mean, it would be it, helpful. It, it would be don't very helpful. S- well, you know, plus, you know, we, in theory, we're walking over to a the table. water's flowing, so Branson should be taken care of. Yeah. And He should. That means we got to go back and talk to him, but we have a necromancer. I mean, do we that... have to go back to him? No, I don't want to go back. I'd rather go pursue that. Mm-hmm. The necromancer? We can go do that. Who says that we have to go back right away? <sighs> he's... Mm. Well, that's well we can send word, you know. I'm can't, but we sure can send word. Mail carriers or... Or nope. we just go to the shadier part of town and ask around. <laughs> Well, um, I mean, the not, sun not, is kind of down. I mean, it's not really that many shades it's right now. Time. I mean, it's not it, that much shade. I don't know what part would of be town shadier. It's not, you know. That's a good uh, question. Mm. That's valid. That's valid. Um, but I don't know. Like, I, I, th- I think we did all right. How did we do? <sighs> I think we did amazing. I didn't expect us to work so well together a second I time. I think you guys are amazing. I mean, you and me, yes. Roberto, yeah, you, you are amazing. You did such great magic. Yeah. And, the, and Takoa, the you climbed that big beast and like you killed things. Oh, you did too? Amazing. Well, of course. My axe is great for taking I, undead and making them dead again. So is the strangling water explosion thing. That yeah, was that was amazing. really nice. That was I didn't even know I could do it. Your barrier was amazing. Really? That was, yeah. Wait, what? You, you just you, guessed? I just wanted to try. You just did did that on trying. You know how long I've been... (sighs) How long what? Since I was a kid, I've been practicing magic. That's why you're so good at it. Taking the weapon, you start swinging around like crazy, trying to win a sword duel. Is that (sighs) what you're saying? Uh, Yeah. (laughs) It was like, you know, it's like potato mashing back in the, you know, (laughs) here comes this big burly, you know, you know, hair comes up and starts smashing all the, (laughs) you know, for good technique. He just wins by sheer brute force. And here we have, you know, oh, Tuana comes up and she throws a ball of water through. But you did mar- awesome. You it's made like, a sun. I can't do that. You know, uh, for I? the record, <laughs> I was going for like one really nice one. Mm-hmm. You made some really cool ones. I thought it was really cool. It looked like a big old carrot. It looks yeah. yummy. Yeah. Well, I got that part, I guess. I mean, it you know, it you. wasn't bad at all. I, look, we we can we can critique our our fighting style all day long. I mean, the fact that you know I you missed trying to attack it. the knock in the first place and getting my trident stuck in it and oh yeah, <sighs> we're gonna have to work on your trident, huh? Yeah, maybe. Um, I could probably I, fix that. No, yeah, you think so? Oh yeah, well, it can shouldn't you be that hard. Weapons? No, like got to it out, down right? The shaft. Huh? Let's just straighten it out. Hey, no, yeah. I mean, anything, I don't know. You? Hey, you want to take a look at it? Go ahead. He sets it on the table. All right. Well, you know, I would like to make a knowledge check. Okay. As you do that, the bartender comes out with the tea and says that uh, the only strawberries we had were dried. I hope that's okay. They're kind of out of season this time of year. That's okay. It'll mm. get nice and moist and size my tea. All right. Uh, enjoy. She pushes it all down in the bottom with the straw. Mm, this is so good. What kind of check did you want to make? I, I, I knowledge check to that name. That name that Caleb mentioned. Oh. About the saint. Saint uh, Valtry. Yeah. Yeah. Valtry. That will be a... Forbidden knowledge? Daunting. <laughs> <laughs> Which is four purple. Uh-huh. Okay. Take forbidden or adventuring. Oh, that's fine. I mean, either one's going to be two yellow, so or two green, so we're fine. <laughs> uh, well, I can roll forbidden, and you give me a boost if you want to. Yeah, but that I mean, way. would you care about the name of the owner of the my sword? Is the question. Uh, he, it's a saint. How how could a necromancer of my sorts not care about saints mm-hmm. who? That's kind of like we're closer to saints, I think, mm-hmm. than we are necromancers. Mm-hmm. 
so who's okay so oh we have so much information um uh-huh with this sword okay i'm confused about i'm it, it, roberto help me understand this uh-huh. maybe it's Lana. I, I don't understand it it feels right yeah when i hold it like it's it's meant for me but it's not mine and it used to be some saints saint valtry who's yeah. that like well have you heard of that name before if i well saints you know they get a reputation uh-huh do you, you know, know that and, reputation is my question uh, and i got a bad <laughs> reputation so uh you don't have a bad reputation what check was it again yeah forbidden, forbidden. or adventuring okay well forbidden would definitely be roberto yeah well so, so we'll go with forbidden uh-huh and four purples one two three four what yeah I'm going to throw a setback in there because you don't roam in the same areas. You don't hop in the same areas. Can we get a bonus since it's got a sea kith motif to it? Since it fits him no. well? <laughs> and there's a reason for that. Okay. So, Takoa, looking at the sword, it mm-hmm. is definitely sea kith made, but it is from the far west. Hmm. And since you're from around the city of Lys. That's the northeast. Mm, okay, it's so it's not even, not even where, where I would even... Okay, gotcha. Can I get a... It's definitely of Western origin, but it's... I mean, the style. Oh, can I get a boost because I've been traveling all over the place? Have you Have you been traveling all over the place, though? Too bad you don't have that I've seen some things, you know. Uh, I, yeah, I think that's <laughs> the same as me denying that previous boost of our... The setback. That's the setback. Is you you haven't been in oh, to the yeah. places that this person has been. Go ahead and flip right. the story um, point. All right, I'll flip the story point. Flip the last one. That's our last yeah. one. Uh huh. That's fine. We'll we'll, we'll use we'll the dark ones. Yeah. All right. I got no boost. <laughs> I mean, you, you you still have a better shot than I do. I got two greens riding on this thing, so you, you're definitely. Oh, gonna, can I get a boost from him? Can you get a boost from me trying to help? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Talking about the the design and things of that nature. That would make sense. There we go. Two successes, a threat. Wow. Okay. Valtry is a recent name, a recent saint, which is odd because the age of saints is long since passed and there aren't that many wandering around these days, particularly because the fellowship is not a fan. (laughs) Yeah. And yeah, since it's recent, like within the past few months that you would have heard heard this name and they've been traveling in wow. the, the southwest parts of Fenrain. They are a sea kith and you would have heard stories of their colorful scales and colorful personality. Huh. Are there any of the stories about them having this weapon? No. There aren't really any there aren't really many stories. It's it's just a name that you would have heard in passing. Like, oh huh. Saint Valtry help this orphanage or something yeah help <laughs> help this small town yeah, they took out took out a ghost or just mm-hmm. like little achievements nothing like nothing big that's weird does this sword can we use some of the successes for this sword like to find out like does this sword feel old put your hands over the if you like were to run a finger along the mm-hmm. the center of the blade characters would pop up and glow that characters for piercing and breaking and uh, the runes um, yeah but it doesn't look particularly old okay okay it's not battle worn or anything the edges are are clean and sharp weird but okay but if it's a new saint mm-hmm. uh-huh. and it's theirs mm-hmm. it's going to be theirs I think that's what it is just use it it'll be great I mean I am gonna use it but still so as you as you run a finger along the center of the blade and those symbols glow one after another, you slip a little bit and cut your thumb on the sword. Dang it. That's a strain. Now I gotta cast a spell. Man, I'm feeling pretty beat up, guys. I'm not gonna lie. That took a lot out of me. <laughs> I mean <laughs> you, you definitely strain you were definitely working a lot of stuff there. Man, if I had a harmonica, I would just play a like a you have healing song with it. But you have an instrument you can use. You have the well, I got all sorts of instruments. <laughs> you could just sing. Are you jealous that I gave sing. him a gift? Sing. Uh, 
No, because you're still with me all the time. Yes, and I am gift enough. And we get to make things together. And when we depart, I will make sure you have a gift too. Well, I then and, well, mm-hmm. I hope that you never have to give me a gift then. So I hope uh, we never depart from each other's company either, because you're my best friend. Well, I see how it is. And Dakota is kind of strange. I look to Dakota and make sure he doesn't flare up. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you want to want to try to pick apart before Let's heading upstairs? Let's pick some more things apart before we go. Yeah. I was curious about that amulet that she got. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, what is what? So you've got a book. Uh-huh. Because you're a book nerd. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so what's up with your weird amulet of awesome glowiness? I mean, it, I don't it, know. It's glowing. Well, Maybe it means that I'm awesome. No, no, you don't Maybe discount it's what I'm he pretty. already. Th- th- well, you are those things, but that's not why it's glowing. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's glowing because because Caleb said it... it glows when I'm dead or nearby. Oh, did he say that? Yes, he did. Oh well, <laughs> well, there's no one dead <laughs> right by. Why is it glowing? Well, he <laughs> just, 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 <laughs> just stares at you like really. <laughs> I don't think you've been through this. We haven't been through this. No, we haven't. Um, oh, no. <laughs> Roberto, I think you need to have this conversation with her privately in a closet. In a closet? Because you're loud. He takes a sip of his drink. There's. Uh, there's. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, you guys got a, uh, an open room that yeah. we could uh, rent for the night? We're going to need two. Yeah, we've got like, Far away. four. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're real light sleepers, so, you know, the farther away, the less noise would be probably better for us, so. Okay. You got it. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. But yeah, um, there's a there's a small situation. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you but, already know I'm cursed. Because well, I mentioned I mean, it to Branson when you were around. I, I thought that you meant cursed like, you know, someone said, you know, I'm going to give you a bad word. And then they did that. And, and so you were cursed. And then they said bad words yeah. to you. And that no, would no, be bad. No, no, I mean, let's, let's go in here. Let's go in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to take the my t- drink. The two yeah. of you go upstairs. And the Therese was waiting at the foot of the stairs. He shows you to the last two rooms in the hall. These these two are yours. It's Perfect. the last ones close to the water. You can hear, hear it if, oh. if you're into that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. She's going to have to give her. Hold your hands up for yeah. a handshake. Yeah, he bends over a little bit and hand gives you a handshake. Thank you so much. Gives the two of you the keys. Tip them. Thank you. Appreciate oh. it. <laughs> yep. Thanks. All Dakota, right. So I want to go in. We'll have the other one. Uh, it's farther away from the water. Yeah. Do you, do you want me to go with you? You got this covered. Or what well, do you want? yeah. Why don't you? Yeah. Well, it, it would. It'd make more sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Let's let's go. <laughs> well, I suppose we could order food, then we go up. And t- do that and then come back or just have you know what? how yeah. about this yeah. how about this you two go up there and start the conversation uh-huh. Uh-huh. i'll go place an order at the at the at the bar and yeah. and uh what do you uh, carrot stew or some kind of vegetable or do you want sure. meat? yeah yeah that would be wonderful <laughs> okay i've had uh, I, yeah no I, i've yeah fried oh soups. fried would sound really okay some sweet fried. would be really nice I, okay okay and, and then a, and a salad a salad would be too but they yeah. probably don't have that like yeah I've got. Look, I've only got some like iron. I, I've been going through a, needing a lot more iron these days. Some broccoli or kale yeah, chips. I don't or, know why. I mean, you're always looking pan of pale. Um, I know. I will. I, I will take whatever you order for yourself. Okay, I can do that. I'll get that stuff and I'll get it brought up to us. Let me just go take care of that, and then while you guys have your conversation, you're the best. I'll be up there in a minute. Okay. All right. Cool. So he's gonna okay. go do that off screen while they have their conversation, <laughs> and then he'll interrupt their conversation, saying, hey. "I want to." jump up on the bed and put my axe down. Okay, I'm gonna dangle my feet off the edge. <sighs> okay. Curses? Alright, there's cursing. Uh-huh. Where you say, like, bad words. Yes, that's we don't do that. We don't, yeah. That, but there's a worse type of cursing is when you cast a spell on someone of some sort that permanently damages them. Thanks for listening to another episode of The Other Place. Loving the show and want more? Join us and other fans on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and Patreon. The Other Place is a production of Nightcast Creative. 
For more info about us and our other projects, visit nightcastcreative.com.